Systems thinking is a transformational way of thinking about and approaching health. In the past, we've witnessed tremendous successes, such as the eradication of smallpox and the treatment of diarrhea with oral rehydration solutions. By considering one aspect of health in isolation, whether it be a specific patient, disease, project, or policy, however, the real world is very complex, and our fragmented approach has too often resulted in unintended consequences, such as dependencies, inefficiencies, and inequities. Systems thinking and complexity science can transform global health by minimizing unintended consequences and by increasing local capacity and shared learning. The systems thinking approach isn't entirely new. It has been applied successfully around the world for decades. For example, consider an experience in Jamkhand, India. In the early 1970s, two Indian physicians, Rajan Mabel Arole, decided that they wanted to empower the poorest in India to improve their own health. They didn't have a specific plan, so they went to community members in Jamkhand and shared their dream with the local people. And members of the community initially said that what they wanted was a hospital. The Aroles agreed and offered to work to build a local hospital. But they suggested there were many other interventions which could improve health in the community much more efficiently than a hospital alone. One of the interventions they suggested was a village health worker program. Each village would select a young woman without formal health training to learn about basic health interventions, such as basic life support, neonatal resuscitation, or proper wound care. This basic health knowledge empowered these women to educate others and address health needs in their own villages. This program led to a shared vision between the Aroles, community members, and health experts that enabled them all to reach their health improvement goals. Over the last few decades, this systems thinking approach in Jamkhand, India, led to a number of other programs to meet the needs of the local communities. As a result, there have been incredible health improvements. For example, the infant mortality rate has dropped drastically. More babies are being safely delivered, and there are fewer cases of malnutrition, tuberculosis, and leprosy. The overall health of these communities is progressing rapidly. By discussing the needs of the community with community members, and by developing a shared vision with them, the Aroles were able to facilitate an environment that allows community members to develop solutions to their own health challenges. Please join us as we seek to improve health systems around the world by applying systems thinking concepts. We as a global society should consider changing the way we approach every aspect of health to incorporate systems thinking. We need a systems thinking revolution in health practice, policy, research, and education. Thanks to support from the Doris Duke Charitable Foundation's African Health Initiative and the Norwegian Agency for Development Cooperation, we have formed an organization called Systems Thinking for Capacity in Health to advocate for these changes, and we hope you'll join us. For the sake of the lady in the corner, Jomkhead community members and millions like them, thank you. <laughs>